How can you quickly know a country when you visit them? Others go to museums, some would go to popular tourist destinations. But while watching so many travel vlogs, I learned that one of the best ways to know a country or a place is to visit their market. There you will know their business and trading systems, their food culture, their way of life, their tradition. In the Middle East, they call it souk. Welcome to the first episode of Shorts. In a small country like Qatar, this is the very first place that every tourist should visit coming from the Hamad International Airport. This is Souk Wakif. Souk Wakif is a labyrinth market for Arabic clothes, spices, handicrafts, and more. The Arabic word souk means market and wakif means standing. So it was called souk wakif because the sellers used to stand at the entrances to display their products and other produce. Souk wakif dates back nearly a century to a time when locals and Bedouins would trade a variety of goods, primarily livestock goods. It is located in the district of Al Souk, which is situated in the center of Doha. As it was a market used for trading activities, the area used to be located immediately adjoining the shore to allow for boats to access it. Although still facing the water, the direct link to the waterfront for boats is now divided by a major road and the recently completed park. Over the years, the market fell into disrepair and was abandoned as new establishments were developed during the 90s. In 2003, most part of the souk were destroyed in a fire. Then the government initiated a restoration program in 2006. Buildings constructed after 1950s were demolished, whereas older structures were refurbished. The restoration was completed in 2008. Today, it is perceived to be the only lasting area in Doha that retains an authentic feel, notably in reference to its commerce, architecture, and culture. The area is very popular with locals and tourists, especially during weekends, for its multiple dining options and souvenir shops. It is composed of many alleys but conveniently divided into sections for gold, handicrafts, garments, spices, kitchenwares, perfumes, groceries, pet animals, and restaurants and cafes. They even have three live animal stables for camels, horses, and falcons. So imagine they even have hospital for falcons. As one of the country's premier tourist destinations, travelers are given an opportunity to live like a local with nine boutique hotels to choose from. These are small hotels with fewer rooms, from their biggest hotel with 37 rooms to their very exclusive one with only two suites, each one offering a distinct cattery experience while staying only a few steps away from the souk for some cultural exploration and gastronomic experience. <laughs>
quintessential local elements. It will lure tourists with both traditional and modern facilities. The Suko Cave is also home to a 980-seat indoor theater, the Al Rayan Theater. There's also a local radio station, Novo Cinemas, and an art center for local artists. Two underground parking lots for over 3,000 cars. Two main squares which also play host to several cultural and community events. A garden facing the waterfront and the underground connection to Doha Metro. The Sukwa Cave is definitely a testament of Qatar's rich culture preserved in this beautifully renovated structure that looks like as if you're living the old Qatari life. There's a great mix of old and new, tradition and modernity. It was stunning both during the day and at night, very photogenic, very warm, and very inviting. Thank you for joining us and see you on the next episode of Shorts.